Let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the quietness of this hour, let you speak and we shut up. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to talk about growing up, not old together. Uh, the Lord has blessed me. I have run seminars in the in the in the um, some African countries. End of this end of this month, beginning of July, I'm going. No more wife. We are going to Kigali, Rwanda, to to run a a seminar with couples from Uganda and also Tanzania. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also thinking that maybe Mahlangu, I should, uh, by the way, I challenge Mahlangu, Guti, in my three years of, uh, in the TUC while I'm president, I want a couple's cruise. I'm glad that he's listening, he has organized it. If I become president, I'll bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> so don't miss that cruise, eh? Don't miss that cruise. Last year, what, what, uh, 1985, 2015, God blessed me and I went to, we have a, an island that you don't know. We have another field that we, have, we know we have between Brazil and Cape Town. Um, you travel five days on the boat. My wife refused to go with me. We can't go to the cruise. Next year, we are Saba Mans. So okay, what a joy to spend those five days on the boat, although we enjoyed being there. So don't lose that uh, privilege of us next year organizing and going. I'm thinking of an intercontinental marriage enrichment seminar Amen. Uh, so that we can be able to meet with people from Ghana, people, couples from Tanzania, couples from Zimbabwe, couples from other places and so on. How beautiful it will be and share experiences together. It's a dream that I wanted fulfilled uh, not long ago from now. We are talking about growing up together. And I was sitting here, I was making some little notes. You know, you, as a speaker, you always make some little notes there and there. And here are notes I made while I was sitting here. Uma ubabu, ubabu hateba kuluma. You are blessed. I don't want to say that you are lucky. You are blessed if you are still keeping your original spouse. Amen. It's not easy these days. Uh, actually, you are, you are becoming, you are rare. Or because there's, in this world of a lot of trade-ins and laybys and divorces, if you still have your original spouse, you must say thank God. Amen. But then I thought, Guti, if you have a second version, you must thank God too. Amen. Pray that you don't go to your third version. Amen. Keep the second version that you have. You know what? Because God is a God of second chances. Amen. God has given you this one last chance to be able to have your spouse now. Hold on to what you have. The grass is always greener where you are than the mirage that you see up there, isn't it? We are talking about growing up and not or growing up, not all together. I think the topic I topic I want to change it and saying growing up and growing old together, isn't it? Yes, it's very important that we start life carefree, wonderful, looking at each other, and then there comes a time you go to the toilet, 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 you go Hey, fundi singbong unkulunkul, you know why ngbong unkulunkul? Ngoba unkulunkul again zanga gutu ufunde gutu umien wa kutabanga ngawe at that time. Yeah, can you imagine if bozo umfulanje ubon gutu utabanga besi zobalega na ngit? Ngoba you never know. Abanya they wish you gutu their spouses could die. And hello, ufuna gutafe uyonga fige. Amen. 
up to the next 40 years, Yeah, when you have come to a point where you wish your spouse was dead, then you must know that there is something wrong. That should not be like that. How I wish we can keep it like this, where we look at each other, where we look at, at, at each other, where we laugh with each other, where we just are carefree and so on. But then, that for you to be able to reach here, for you to be able to reach here, You've gone through many things, isn't it? Amen. And when you, that's why when the two who have been together for a long time, when one goes, the other one goes quicker, ain't it? Amen. But we've become so close to each other, it becomes difficult to be able to separate from one another. I'm going to give you just a couple of things quickly. How can we grow up together and grow old together, ain't it? That's very important. I'm going to share a number of things, give you some few illustrations as well. Um, I, they are not in order. You do have presentations with you. I will add a couple of things. Pay attention to each other's wants and what? And needs. If your wife or your husband likes something, some, I mean, I'm a Kaiser Chiefs fan, I need to. Yes, you know, I can't am a Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. I, I <laughs> but my wife is not a soccer person, but I love it when she supports me. Mam ungam tu mi ubaba kuzala itla piya kebesu yam tu. Maufuni maufuni mbi yenzanjal. Let's support one another. There's Ellen White Do not let your individuality be submerged into another's. There are peculiar things that are not sinful that your wife like, likes or your, or your husband likes. Let us be able to encourage each other to be able to do those things. They are not sinful, but they, let's support each other. Guys. Hang it. That's very important. I'm going to summarize because we don't have time. So, you look after my interest, I look after your what? your interest. As we are able to do that, for instance, if someone likes, let's say, a book to read, once a month, once in two months, buy a book. And you know what particular book that person likes. It will mean a lot to that particular person. Be sensitive to the specific needs of your spouse and support each other genuinely and what? And intentionally. Okay, I'm going to move fast. You do not have to be right all the time. Allow each other to express disagreements without intimidation and fear. Nobody is perfect. Nobody has everything. Otherwise, you would not have a partner if you were self-sufficient. No, Guti. There are things that I need from this person. There are things that this person needs from who? From me. Put yourself in your spouse's place. The empathy be school manga you nini? What you call today? Le be school manga. Ukumbu luguti. Out of all the things that the wife does during the day, which are myriads of them. In kunz malang, I figure ka, I figure fundi pep in kunz malang. Fundi Peppy, Peggy TV, Bessie Ye Cameron, your la lang it. Mamma Sawashi, Joseph Faggy washing the machine in Bessing Kunz Malang it. Mamma Coopa, who's Mamma Colapoen? You know, which I love and do. Bizano Mamma, Hot of Fula and Amtla went in Jan, was good in Kunz Malang and Amtla right now. Fadil Devon Fat. Fadil Devon Fat. There are many things, there are many things that we can help each other to lighten our bed in jungle. But let's do that. Allow Put yourself, allow expression of point of view, which is very important. In the Shupa M Shad, when we are too defensive, Atumuntasa Kulumati, I know Ufunukti. 
Even the angels don't know what to kabangan. Uban wenazoti. You know what to funuktin. We answer before we listen. Before Moba City Siamazu Mundangit. I know what to funuktin. And many a times we are wrong. We are not right. Your pair your your you are part you are partners rather than what? Competitors. Compliment rather than compete with each other. Fight fairly. Galliwem Shatwin. Maninga I feel like Gali Wem Shatwin hang it. Yeah, Gali. As long as in Ninga shining a ma upper cut na ma lower cut, hang it. Yes. How do you fight fairly? How do you fight and fail first? Don't hit below the belt. Don't hit below the belt. What I mean is, once you attack the person, learn to embile. Learn to embile. Embile. You are hitting below the belt. So we are hitting something that perhaps the person cannot change. And that's unfair. That's hitting below the belt. Hang it. Now we are... We are touching the self-esteem you have done about it. Don't do that. Fight fairly if you fight. Fight the problem, not the person. Hang it. That's fighting fairly. And if there, there's a time that we have to agree, good, hey, because me and one as is running alento, can we shelve it? Let's shelve it. We'll reopen it some other time when we have the time. Don't be accusative. No, but we always try. And accuse. I'll come to communication where I, yes, let me come to it now. Grudges, grudges are a challenge. Silent treatment is a big killer. Hang it, it's a con, hang it. When I'm out to Lille, somebody else is, speak, is speaking. Is picking up on my phone, this lap. Hang it. Yes. I'm just emphasizing as we talk about communication that, Mama, please. There are times when, many times when they want to be on their own, give them that time and respect so that they have that. Amen, Bobaba. So that they have that. That's why they can play golf the whole day. Why do you play golf the whole day? The, 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 the whole day over 90 minutes. Yes, yes. And then something else on communication. Ooh, uh, because of time now, let me see. Okay, let me talk about this one. Uh, let me talk about this one. Um, EP, this one, this one. When last did you write each other letters? If no 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 Nyaiboni WhatsApp. If we had time today, we're going to write a letter to your spouse now. Abanya Basawas no good dear darling, hang it. Yes. Remember those days when we wrote letters? Yes. Let me share you with you a letter here uh, that somebody wrote to his darling. Dear sugar. Oh, Oh, there is something that you say, dear sugar. Listen to this one. Time and ability plus double capacity. Near <laughs> Kumbula those days. When you wrote a letter, you had to have a dictionary. No more phone dang it. Listen to this one. Listen, listen to this one. Time and ability plus double capacity has forced my pen to dance automatically on this benedicted sheet of paper. <laughs> I, uh, we miss those days, hang it. Even the WhatsApp now, it's only shortened, hang it. And then listen to this one. Why this miraculous thing happened is because, Papi, I love you spontaneously. And as I stand horizontally to the wall and perpendicular to the ground. <laughs> I only think of what? Of you. Yeah. Since you are a fantastic and a fabulous guy, Papi, Please stop haranguing with the feelings of my hand. Because I love you more than a snake loves the rat. (laughs) 
The language, the language, the language. Okay? And then verse Atigela, to me, each day starts by thinking of you and ends by dreaming of you. Each time I see you, my metabolism suddenly stops and my peri peristalsis goes in reverse gear. <laughs> Something like this during your time. And those were days and when you kept those letters you know, intact. You want to see more of the letter? Okay. I'm going to, our time is gone. But I like this one. Each time I see you, my metabolism suddenly stops. And my peristalsis goes into my medulla oblongata all stops functioning. <laughs> but so I remember in standard four when I had first of medulla oblongata. You know, we wanted to use those biological terms that we learned. I need. We are we're practicing my medulla oblong. And then it says, yeah, crazy, crazy, you may say, but this is true. If only you knew what is going on in my encephalon. Yeah. You know what's encephalon? In my brain. In my brain. And then you would understand. That's why I need to see you face to face soon. I think I have to pen off here because I haven't finished my studying electrolysis and polymerization. <laughs> Catch you later, pa. And then it says, sleep tight and don't lose those, don't let those bed bugs ever bite you because you are too sweet a thing for me. <laughs> Do you want to see the person who wrote this letter? <laughs> Must be a politician. I have put a, my beautiful picture in the letter for you. <laughs> Yours ever, sugar, what? No, no, uh, uh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> do, you, do you want to hear the reply? Yes. From the man? Yes. Okay, let's get the reply from the man quickly. And so, the point, the point for this exercise is that let's remember to have fun. Yeah. Because we had fun together, isn't it? Yeah. But now, as if a home is a battle zone, you know, and, okay, listen, listen to the one, to the reply. My love, my honey, or my sugar, I was exasperated with pride to have received one from you. The lungs in my body flapped with joy when I realized when I was reading your letter. Anyhow, how are you? How? Eh? Anyway, by now you have reached the realization to why I'm jotting this small letter to you. Yes, this is to see if you are keeping with the sense of time. That's why those letters, they stayed in our, in, in, under our, our pillows. And I'm so glad you can't tell me. Okay. And then listen to this one. How is everything on that side of yours? Well, here is just half lemon, half sugar to make it shreps. <laughs> eh? And then listen to this one now. How is your schooling? How are you pulling the wagons of life? I'm just pulling the schooling thing like a donkey pulling a cart. You used what you were seeing around you. Listen to this one. My honey, my honey, I'm missing you very much right now. My heart is perambulating with every weight I ride. If it was not for these oceans, Lumundu Bala, far from the ocean, Bala Gnan Luan, but, but, but listen to this one. If uh, it was not for these oceans that decided to flow between us, it's a flow of the language that, that decided to flow between us, then I would get onto the next bus. How would you then talk about the sea and the bus? These two don't meet together. The sea and the bus, and then, then the person says, I would get to the next bus to see. But until then, I know I will not hesitate to put this 
this blue blood. What is a blue blood? A blue blood on this paper and write to you. I remember those days, whatever, whatever, and so I won't, I won't read that one, but listen to this one now uh, when he finishes. If words of love could ride a bicycle, I would be competing against Diego Maradona. Diego Maradona is a soccer player. He's not what you call him so. <laughs> and then, Bessa Atige, anyway, I will not stop from reading the books that give you life, or stop you from reading and education. Please uh, always write to me because I miss you like sugar misses tea. And, <laughs> Auntie, the tea must have sugar. I miss you like sugar. Mrs. what? Mrs. T. Okay, fine. Keep, keep well my mop of my heart, my mop of my heart, and yours in flesh and blood. Blood, raise sugar, baby. I'm fine, no. Boys to men, ain't it? Yes. And then get, then get. You want to see the photo? Ah, near near tanties in. Okay, I'm sorry. Hi. Laba, 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 it was part of the decoration. Where are those good days where we can be able to talk together? There is no time now to show you more. Let's go now and come towards the end of our presentation. Oh, uh, you have the rest of it there. I won't be able to, to finish it for you. You have a lot there that you will have. And then the next thing that we will look at now, uh, compromise is the way to go. Consider both ways and find the middle one. The middle part. Constructive engagement is very important and constructive and positive criticism is very important. Let's deal with reality rather than dwell on assumptions. If you are not in a good mood, say it up front. It's better to say, Baba or oh, Mama, I'm not in a good mood to speak now than to be rude. And what I said, I'm not ready now. Can we talk in an hour? Or can we talk later? I'm not in the right space now to talk. Than to talk and be what? And be rude or uh, say things that you will regret. Because once we have said something, never goes back. Never goes back. We are, not, we are not honest in what upsets us. Let us be generous with the compliments that we have. I'm only on slide number 10. And I, I am still far away here. Learn to respect differences. You'll, you'll be able to find the, you know, as we grow together, we want to snuggle together. I know as black people, it's very difficult to extend a hand and hold a hand. What sort of cool for the next month? So let me tell you something. I don't know who to go again, but as we grow older, we want to cuddle and hold hands. We want to cuddle and hold hands. It's easier now for my wife and I to hold hands and spend half the night sleeping on each other than it was at the beginning. This time, no more Nobody says anything. Yes. We have come to a point where we have grown uh, to love each other. We know that we are going down. 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 We are going Those, t those times of, of cuddling, cuddling together, and then watching the moon and, 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 and looking the water and so on. And we, we like traveling together. We travel a lot together whenever we can. Marriage does not guarantee you will be together forever, unfortunately. It's only a paper. 
but it takes love, respect, trust, understanding, friendship, and faith in your relationship to make it what? We need that fellowship. Let's create memories. Let's create what? Memories. Every moment we find with our children, with our grandchildren, with our families, let's create memories. Eating goma, are you creating memories? Let's create memories because those are things that will last more in our lives than anything. What you call. I've got some slides here on communicate. I'm on 17 of 40, so I'm not going to go through them. Things like good communication is a must. Make time, work together, travel together, keep tight communication, and then uh, grow old, old along with me. The best is yet to come. The best is what? Is yet to come. It's not the end of, of you now. The best is yet to what? Yes, but the more you stay together, the better it is, ain't it? Marriage is like a deck of cards. In the beginning, all you need is two hearts and a diamond. And then don't carry weapons for each other. Do not want to win in a marriage. Do not put down each other. Agree to winning both ways. Seek to serve. But what I wanted to share with you now is uh, some few verses that I don't have there that you must put that you must put together. Number one is Song of Solomon 2, verse 16. Can you write the verses down that I'm sharing with you now? My uh, Song of Solomon 2, verse 16, it reads as follows. My beloved is mine, and I am what? And I am his. One day we will talk about intimacy, not from any other book of the Bible, but from, but from Song of Solomon. Another verse that is important I want to share with you Ecclesiastes 4.12, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly what? Broken. And I want to suggest that that, third, that cord of three strands, please add God in your relationship. If you are one, you are in trouble. If you are two, you are defendable. If you are three, it will not be broken. Ephesians 4.29 do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others according to their needs. And then listen to this one, 1 Corinthians 13, 7 to 8. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, enjoys all things. And then the one about intimacy, 1 Corinthians 7, verse 5. Do not deprive one another except perhaps by agreement for a limited time. I'm a sanction Zaga Sebenzim Shatwin. I'm a sanction Zani? I'm a sanction Zaga Sebenzim Shatwin. If it's for, for prayer, it's good, but not for a long time. I need that you may devote yourself to prayer, but then come together again so that Satan may not tempt you because of your lack of self control. I need. And then, here's my last verse. Very important one. Uh, Luke 9, verse 22. You must take up your cross daily and follow me. Amen. I want you to imagine that the person next to you, is somebody God has given you, at the end, you must present him or her 
faultless before the throne of grace. Hang it. May God help us in a special way. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Love